students today we are going to discuss diagram based question number 3 that is from nitric acid so here they have given you the diagram and the questions and i have written the solution for you so in this diagram they are asking first one is balanced equation you have to write and you know that starting material is potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate and concentrated h2so4 on heating what is happening is hno3 is being liberated into this round bottom flask so why the product obtained is yellow in color is the second question third one why is temperature maintained below 200 glass apparatus is only used and what is the reason and finally what is the nature of the reaction whether it is exothermic or endothermic reaction now first one so kno3 and concentrated h2so4 very important the ratio is 1 is to 1 in the ratio 1 is to 1 you have to heat below 200 degrees celsius and now what happens here can we write it as h and hso4 we can write like this and here no3 minus and k plus so what will happen k plus and hso4 minus will form khso4 that is nothing but potassium hydrogen sulfate and what is left out here h plus and no3 minus will form hno3 which is nitric acid hope you have understood this a balanced chemical equation is written second one why do you get yellow color here what is the reason the reason is a part of hno3 will decompose into nitrogen dioxide that is no2 so this gas will be in which color brown and you are having some portion of hno3 so what happens to this no2 gas is dissolved into this so therefore the total color now will become yellow hope you have understood this what is the keyword here the decomposition of hno3 to nitrogen dioxide gas now third question why do you maintain below 200 degrees celsius what will happen if you increase the temperature above 200 instead of nah that is khso4 here here you can say that k2so4 if you are taking if you are taking nano3 will get sodium sulfate and if you take kno3 will get k2so4 that means about 200 about 200 you have k2so4 formation what is the nature of k2so4 it is very sticky in nature so therefore this k2so4 which is formed here will stick to the walls of this rbf round bottom flask and it is very difficult for us to clean the apparatus secondly more fuel is wasted and also the glass apparatus may crack so that we that is a disadvantage so always the heating should be less than 200 degrees celsius important keyword about the honor what is happening if you use kno3 you will get k2so4 which is a sticky mass hope you have understood this next fourth one why are you using glass apparatus hno3 vapors are corrosive in nature so corrosive in nature so definitely they will damage or attack if you are using rubber cork or metal so therefore instead of using rubber or metal we are using glass apparatus so hno3 vapors does not affect these glass vapors hope you have understood this this will be your keyword now the last one what is the nature of the reaction here heat is released hence we can say that the reaction will be exothermic in nature take down the solution here hope you have understood this let's move to question number 4 now question number 4 laboratory preparation of ammonia from magnesium nitride so mg3 n2 is taken in the flask and in the funnel you are taking water and these are the reactants what you have so through this nh3 gas will pass and calcium oxide is there which is a drying agent and finally it is collected in the drying tub so this was the method of preparation of ammonia now the questions are give balanced equation what is the role of calcium oxide can we use p2o5 here instead of cao next which method of collection of gas is observed and finally what will happen to the products here now i have written the solutions <coughs> excuse me first one magnesium nitride mg3n2 and water in the ratio 1:6 we have taken in the ratio 1:6 
and the product obtained is magnesium hydroxide and ammonia gas so this ammonia gas will escape through this uh, delivery tube first question now second one what is the role of calcium oxide calcium oxide is used as a drying agent the keyword here is drying agent so if at all any moisture is there it can trap at this point now can we use p2o5 instead of calcium oxide for drying no we should not use this what is the reason because p2o5 will react with ammonia and what is the product obtained ammonium phosphate but calcium oxide does not react here if you use p2o5 as drying agent it will react so this is your equation now next question is which method of collection of gas is observed here what is happening ammonia will be collected by downward displacement of air so at the bottom you will be having air here and ammonia will be collected above the air so we call this as downward displacement of air so it is lighter next the last one is what will happen to the product we have two products obtained first one magnesium hydroxide second one is ammonia gas what will happen now after the reaction here magnesium hydroxide will be collected in this flask and through this delivery tube what will happen nh3 will escape and finally gets collected over air here so that is what is written magnesium hydroxide remains in the flask but ammonia gas escape through delivery tube and is collected in the drain tower so hope you have understood this so very important diagram based questions for five marks we have discussed the four and the previous class we have done with the nomenclature so till now we are thorough with the 10 marks in the next lecture we will move with the further revision thank you so much